Yeah, another thing to think about in the, when you're in the Philippines is there's not a real there's not a lot of oversight committees. There's not a lot of agencies that will protect you. Uh, we, we get so used to it in the Western world having everything rubber padded for us with you know watchdogs keeping track of everything. You know, take it for an example here in the Philippines, lawyers. Now you got to understand about a lawyer. They don't make money once they fix your problem. I mean, then the money, you know, the gravy train stops, the money stops. So, I mean, there's absolutely no margin in it for you for them to fix your problem. So they can drag things out forever. Court cases here go on for years and years with no resolution at all. These people will oftentimes give you bad advice to create more problems for you, which again means more money for them. Conversely, if you get the right lawyers, they can actually go in and sit down with the judge and negotiate the terms to resolve the case in your favor, cash in hand. Been there, seen it done. So. Two things. I mean, it's, you know, there's things about corruption that everybody has to understand. It works both ways. It can work for you. It can work against you. First, you've got no protection. Second, you can buy your way out of problems. So keep that in mind.